Come on, sis. Ça fait plaisir pour moi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Norris Trophy was uh, donated to the National Hockey League in 1953 by the family of late James E. Norris, the great owner president of the Detroit Red Wings. It honors a defenseman who demonstrates throughout the season the greatest all-round ability at his position. I guess I would have to skate really fast to get past some of these guys, eh? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> The nominees this year are the, from the Edmonton Oilers, Paul Coffey. Not since Bobby Orr has there been a defenseman who displays the scoring ability of Edmonton's Paul Coffey. In only his fourth NHL season, the 23-year-old Coffey scored 40 goals and totaled 126 points. Coffey's point total was not only the best amongst defensemen, but was second best in the league, next to teammate Wayne Gretzky. A two-time All-Star, he quarterbacked the Oilers' power play while helping them post their best record in five seasons in the league. The Oilers, Paul Coffey. The second nominee for the Norris Trophy is Rod Langway of the Washington Capitals. The Washington Capitals rebuilt their franchise around defense, and they built that defense around Rod Langway. Last year's Norris Trophy winner often logged over 30 minutes of ice time per game, helping the Caps post the lowest goals against average in the league. Washington's penalty killing was the best in the NHL, with Langway anchoring the unit. His leadership and inspiration have helped the Capitals become a championship contender. The rugged number five conducting the Capitals' defense, Rod Langway. And now we'll find out the winner. The winner is Rod Langway. Well, it's pretty tough to get up here in front of all these people, mostly the dances that were just on. You know, it's kind of tough to cap their performance, but I would like to. But uh, it's pretty tough to accept, you know, the Norris Trophy when the person I had to beat out was a player, the caliber was a, of Paul Coffey. And I think. It's a shame this year that Paul had a, a great year, and I compare him with a player that I admired, Bobby Orr, that he had a chance of beating a player that, as a defenseman, changed the whole game. And Paul is in the calories of Bobby Orr. And <laughs> but, I, my name is on this for the second time, and I know that well, the way this, the year is going in the NHL, 22, 20, 21 year old guys are taking my jobs away. So I'm glad it's on there for the second time. Thank you very much. They're so soft-spoken when they're up here. Rod Langway, a tiger on the ice. He's a pussycat off the ice. Spends his summers playing golf and having teeth removed from his fist. <laughs> now, ideally, you know that uh, we would like to build a little suspense into each award presentation, but when it comes to the Art Ross Trophy for the NHL Scoring Championship, bulletin, 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 it's Gretzky, okay? Uh, you don't have to be Knowlton Nash for that one. This is... Uh, Wayne's fourth consecutive Art Ross Trophy, and this year the Players Association voted him the Lester B. Pearson Trophy as the outstanding player in the league. He gets a lot of special attention, but he deserves it. Next season, the Oilers have hired a private Zamboni to come in between periods and wipe the perspiration off his upper lip. 
You would think that to be that good, the guy must practice 24 hours a day, must never get off those skates, right? Wrong. Watch. So what exactly was Wayne up to when he wasn't on the ice doing what he does best? Well, he was acting on his favorite soap, The Young and the Restless. And this is uh, Wayne, out of our Edmonton operation. Sure could use some of your class around home. Nikki? <laughs> Thank you. Um, are you just visiting, mister? Call me Wayne. Everybody does. Maybe that's what Burt Reynolds is smiling about. He was dancing. For the younger generation, he really is a doll. But basically, he's a down-to-earth guy who listens to his mom. That's right, Wayne. And who comes home to Bradford every summer to a charity tennis tournament. His friends help him there, and he's always willing to help a friend. And like Da Vinci's Mona Lisa and Michelangelo's David, there is now Andy Warhol's Gretzky. The Art Ross Trophy for the most points in the regular season goes to number 99, Wayne Gretzky. Thank you very much. It's a tremendous honor to accept the award. I feel very fortunate to play on a tremendous hockey club. And I can't say enough about what Rod Langway just said and the contribution that Paul Coffey in particular makes to my hockey game and the passes and the clearing passes out of our own end zone that he gives me. I want to thank him personally and of course my two line mates, Jerry Curry and whoever Glenn decides to put on the left side. <laughs> we, we have a lot of trouble. We don't know if he's going to speak Czech or Finn or Swede. <laughs> we figure it out. But of course I want to thank the coaching staff and I uh, appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. The fans of the do want to know about you. Are you going to take it easy this summer? Well, I've finally taken your advice. I'm going to buy a little summer, uh, summer cottage. Yeah, a summer, place. summer place yeah. called Manitoba. You can have the. Do you, have you? Do you? Have you ever considered going back to the homeland and tracing your own ethnic roots? What's uh, what? What does the name Gretzky mean? What's the origin? I finally figured out it's it's an old Romanian word for an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, uh, Wayne is the acknowledged uh, league leader in endorsements, but uh, this year you'll get some competition, Wayne, because uh, I'm coming out with uh, my own uh, line of, of hockey products. By the way, I know that the, the lunch pails and the dolls are selling like hotcakes. How are the hotcakes going? Like lunch pails. Like lunch pails, sure. Well, uh, you'll get some competition this year from the Michael Jackson <laughs> Hockey Club. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. You're on set. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah. Hold on a second. Oh, hold on. <laughs> all right, well, he's got all the moves now. That's uh, all you need. <laughs> if you can only move like him. Okay, we'll be back with more in just a second. Well, you have to. It starts with one of those. <laughs> The NHL Awards, a celebration of excellence, will be right back with Carol Baker, the Coach of the Year, and much more. Hey, Canada, join the Ford Best Built Quality Celebration at your Ford and Mercury dealers. We're selling the best built North American cars and trucks at low, low prices. Check out Ford Tough Explorer trucks up to $1,026 off. Add that package to this F-150 with a workmate package and get up to $2,084 off. Come in during our quality celebration now for best built quality and value. Second to none at Ford Quality, the top one. In every corner of the country, there's someone like Tony Thompson trying to get better. You, you, you. So for all the Tonys and Michaels and Lindas and Kathys, SO and its agents and dealers in your area got together with the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association. 
to award ESO Medals of Achievement and sponsor Minor Hockey Week. You! When you want to get better, we're right behind you. You make us better, you do. Last year, for the first time, Americans were picked first and third in the NHL draft. What will be the story this year in the 84 draft, June 9th in Montreal? Well, no doubt one story will be the sensational Mario Lemieux from Laval, who has rewritten the junior record books in the province of Quebec. For the first time, Canadian viewers will be able to follow their favorite team's selections as Sports Weekend brings you a television first. It's live coverage of the NHL draft from the Montreal Forum. See it Saturday, June 9th. We're more than halfway through the show, and we still haven't mentioned the most important people in hockey, the ticket scalpers. No, I just wanted to see if you were paying attention. I'm referring, of course, to the fans. So here we go with our salute to us, the fans of hockey. So, who are the fans who love hockey? Well, there are the rookies, still breaking into the game. And the old timers, who know all the tricks. There are those who get blown away by the game. And others who can talk it or leave it. There are those who admire it from afar. But no matter where they're from, the quality all hockey fans seem to share is confidence in and loyalty to their team. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup this year? The Oilers. Boston Bruins all the way. Well, uh, Quebec. The Islanders, of course. Rangers. Montreal Canadiens. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule. You've never heard of us? No, never. It's, uh, do you, have you ever heard of ice hockey? No, never. You don't know what ice hockey is? <laughs> no. You've never heard of the Montreal Canadiens? No. Do you know what a puck is? No. Yes, yes. A true hockey fan is not afraid to stand up and cheer. Or share a personal message. I guess Sandy said yes. Hockey loves its fans because they have class. Because they have a sense of humor. And most of all, because hockey fans have hearts of gold. Just keep on doing what you're doing, although it's leading me to ruin. Just keep on doing what you're doing, God, I love what you're doing to me. Great montage. That last guy was a Maple Leaf season ticket holder, by the way, I identified. 